hi fellow enthusiasts welcome to my channel let's go into today's video and we're gonna come back at the end to wrap it up in this episode we'll be looking at the walkie-talkie or the transceiver circuit TRX now what you're seeing on the screen right here is a box that is duplicated on the right side and on the left side so on the right side you will see a transmitter and the receiver when you add both you get the TRX likewise on the left side you have the transmitter and the receiver when you add both you also get TRX so we have A and B sections which are basically a duplicate of one another what you have in A is what you have in B. You have in A a transmitting antenna and a receiving antenna. In B, you have a transmitting antenna and also a receiving antenna. Now, for most practical purposes, these antennas are combined in one. For walkie talkies or transceivers, effort is made to ensure that many parts are reused. So, you know your normal transmitter. You have the RF amp at some point. So, you have an oscillator. Then you have your mixer. You have your RF amp, radio frequency amplifier. What you find out in many transmitters and receivers or transceivers or walkie-talkies is that they try to combine or to reuse as many parts as possible. That's the whole essence. You want to reuse as many parts as possible. So your RF amp amplifier, during transmission, it will become your power amp or your output amplifier. And during reception, it will be your um, uh, low noise amplifier or your input front end amplifier so basically this is what happens in a regular transmitter and uh, receiver but then in a transceiver you combine those together so we've built a circuit or circuits before we built transmitters before and we've built receivers also now what we want to do today is to combine both and give you the TRX But in this episode, we will not be building anything afresh. We'll just be reusing what we have to demonstrate to you that you can easily do this. Now, the circuit we have at hand doesn't offer much in common between the two, apart from the power supply. So in our case, you can keep the power supply the same. And probably the antenna And I'm saying probably here because you are, you you want to be using them um, one after the other. Uh, but in the system we've designed, you can use them concurrently. So you might want to use two antennas. So the system here will function concurrently. So it won't be a half duplex. It will be full duplex. So you're going to have the ability to transmit and receive at the same time. Unlike the traditional walkie-talkies where you have to transmit and receive at different times. So when you hold the button, you transmit. When you release it, you receive. So in the, if you want to build a walkie-talkie from, from scratch, you have to have a box and another box and then a switch. So um, let's say this is the TX. And when I mean box, I mean like a block diagram. And then you have a switch that's, that turns one on and not the other. So this switch will be this way. So this will be, let's say it's power supply for instance. And then this section will be for receive. So you're gonna be on normally closed in this switch. And this will be normally open. So when you press the button, you close this to transmit. But once you finish your transmission and you release the button, 
power or signal goes back to the receive side. Now this is very simplistic, what I'm doing here, but you'll be switching your antennas. So let's, let's get to that. You'll be switching the antennas from transmit to receive. So if the actual antenna um, wire, let's see if we can move this down. So if I have the actual antenna right here, this antenna will be switching between this and that. So this will be normally closed for receive, normally open for transmit. So you'll be switching that. And also on your audio circuit, which we didn't actually represent here. So the mixer, let's just add audio here. In your audio circuit, so you'll be using one transducer for both transmission and reception. So you use a speaker. So your speaker will also be switching between the transmitter and the receiver. So here, if I have a speaker here, then I'll take the signal from here when I'm transmitting and when I'm receiving. So the antenna, the, the speaker wire will go this way for normally close when I'm receiving and normally open. So when I'm transmitting, I'll push the button, then this switch will go over here. I'll transmit and the switch also go here uh, so I can transmit. So this will be my actual antenna. All right. So now let's demonstrate what we have today. So right here, the, the transmitter we have here, the receiver we have here is our microcontroller based receiver. So I'm going to turn it on. And I've tuned it to a particular station here, 108 megahertz. And then I have a transmitter that was built a long time ago. You remember this transmitter? I'll put the link to this transmitter if you want to build it. So once that switch is on, I've tuned the transmitter through this coil to the same frequency as the receiver. And you can hear the acoustic feedback. Just the, the, the mic and the speaker are so close. Hello, hello. So we built a transmitter and the receiver and both work together. Now, if you combine them on the same circuit, then you get your walkie-talkie. So that's it right there. Now, the problem with this transmitter is that it uses a voltage-controlled oscillator. What it means then is that as the voltage changes, as the voltage drops in this uh, enclosure here, here I have 4.5 volts. As the voltage drops, the frequency shifts. This is not ideal. This is not what we want to use for a, an ideal walkie-talkie. So let's just turn this on again. As the voltage drops, the frequency might shift, and that is not ideal. So what you want to do is you, you want to use another transmitter for this. Now I'll show you one more thing. Now this is working fine as you can see, but once I touch this coil, you can hear the acoustic for now, but when I, once I touch the coil, the frequency shifts. And now I have to fine tune it, I have to try to grab the coil and get it back. Yeah. So I have to carefully, it requires a lot of skills, but you have to carefully get it back to where it should be working. This is an idea. Now to take care of the, the fluctuations in voltages, you can use a voltage regulator like this. So you can use a 3 volts, this is a 3.3 uh, volts regulator that I'm using to regulate the voltage going into uh, my microcontroller and the RDA um, 5807M radio. Um, the power supply for this is coming through a USB uh, source and this USB source supplies 5 volts. So I plug it into this board and then I connect the voltage regulator. Just solder up some pins and then I can connect the voltage regulator. So I, that way I can re regulate the voltage down to 3.3 so this circuit works well. So you can do the same for the transmitter. You can do the same for the transmitter where you use um, maybe 1.5 volts regulator, 1.2 volts regulator, or you can also use 3.3 volts. Now we have 4.5 in this um, enclosure here. So you can use 3.3. That ensures that 
the voltage going to the transmitter is stable until you get down to 3.3 volts or maybe the whatever regulation uh, threshold for your regulator is now to, to take care of all this and not to worry about that let's introduce you to one of our crystal uh, oscillators and you remember when we built the circuit so we're gonna put the link also in the uh, right about now so here you have a crystal that has a sta stable frequency no matter the voltage as long as the voltage is strong enough to bias the transistors or the transistor in this case just one transistor then you have a stable frequency now this is a 27 megahertz uh, crystal and we are going to be receiving on the harmonics right I think on the fourth harmonic we'll be operating at around 108 megahertz so that's what you want to use here so we've built one so here you can plug in the power supply here and input signal over there we've built one that is already complete our the input is our microphone and then the power supply goes here you're familiar with this we've built this before that's the antenna and the link will also be in the description and also right about now so let's power this up and see all right so 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 this now this crystal controlled oscillator is very stable uh, the frequency never changes uh, if you have a low volt uh, power supply you might notice some distortions in the audio but the frequency is stable um, at 27 megahertz at 54 megahertz and at uh, I think the next harmonic will be around um, 81 megahertz and then after 81 the next one will be at 108 megahertz so right now right now the receiver we have operates from 87.9 megahertz to 108 megahertz but you can build this to operate at 54 megahertz and then your crystal oscillator will be operating at the second harmonic which will be 54 megahertz and then you can put a filter to filter any higher harmonic of the oscillator all right that's your walkie talkie right there so build this build it on the same board now so you can do this on the same board and so that will ensure that you have some comp some parts to reuse so build this on the same board build the transmitter if you build it like mine where you have some spaces here you can put in your transmitter right there because the transmitter is basically these components so you can easily fit them along this line and then include your your microphone of course so line up your transmitter here and connect your microphone to it and build this double you need to make it two so as you can see on the screen we have transmitter and receiver but then they're going to combine they will combine into one for one set that will be your set a and then they will combine also for your set b so build that and you have yourself a walkie-talkie now you can also build purely transistor based but based on what we've seen it is easier to tune this walkie-talkie um, if you build it based on the microcontroller it will be easy to tune the walkie-talkie to tune the channels to tune to different uh, people and talk to different people uh, just pressing this will take you to another channel in a future episode we'll be showing other forms of walkie talkies that will give you more options to make choices from right now the recommendation is to build this um, microcontroller based radio and then a crystal transmitter build a pair of of each and then combine them so your transmitter and your receiver will be on different frequencies and people can call you on your receiving frequency and then you can call others on their um, receiving frequencies so in other words your receiving your receiving frequency will be stable you won't be changing your receiving frequency so when you build this choose a frequency that is uh, outside the uh, regular fm range in your region um so choose something that is in the free band in the uh, uh unlicensed band and then build a transmitter that will transmit in the same unlicensed band 
so you can uh, transmit and talk to your friends on that. Uh, remember, it's 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 uh, un unencrypted, so anybody who has a good receiver could listen to your conversation. So it would just be for fun um, or for just an enthusiast, uh, just having fun. If you want to make it, uh, if you want to pass sensitive information, consider other means of encryption uh, to send your messages. All right. All right. Thanks for sticking around to the end. That will be it from us today. Please, if you have not subscribed, do so right now. And don't forget to like and share this video. Until we come your way again with more contents, stay enthused.